Welcome to the exciting world of interactive technology. You're about to experience learning in a way you never thought possible. With this CD-ROM, you can jump into your training anywhere you want at any time. You can start at the beginning, middle, or end. It's all up to you. And once you've learned the basics of how to navigate around in the CD-ROM, you'll find learning is a breeze. Quick, easy, even fun. You may find using this CD-ROM in the beginning is a bit like learning how to drive a car. You'll be concentrating on what each button does and how to use it, how to go forward, backwards, and stop. But once you've used the interface and become familiar with it, you'll find that working with the CD-ROM is, well, automatic. When the CD-ROM first plays, you'll be asked the question, have you used this learning program before? If you haven't, select no. You'll then be asked to create a new user ID. You simply type in your name and click on OK. When you log in, the computer will keep a record of all the places you've been and will update it each time you use the CD-ROM. In the upper left corner of your screen are navigation controls that help you move around in the CD-ROM. This button starts the program, and this button stops it. This button will jump you ahead 10 seconds, and this one will take you back. This button will take you to the very beginning of the CD-ROM, and this one will take you to the end. Don't worry if you don't remember what each button is for. There's a simple way to get this information. As you move your mouse pointer onto a button, a small label appears below it. This is called a tooltip and it contains a description of what the button does. When you take the mouse off the button, the tooltip disappears. As you can see, using this CD-ROM is as simple as playing a videotape, but it's better than video because you can control exactly where you want to go without having to spend a lot of time scanning back and forth. Now that you know the basics of navigating, let's look at some of the learn while you work technology you'll be using with this CD-ROM. The table of contents is a directory of the lessons and topics you'll find on the CD-ROM. The course menu button opens up the table of contents. You can expand the list by clicking on the folder icons and can just as easily collapse the list the same way. This button with the check mark is called the study path indicator. When you return to the table of contents, it appears next to the topics you've worked in, so you can chart your progress. The button with the red flag is called the Flag It button. It allows you to mark a specific spot within a topic that you may want to come back to at a later time. And finally, this button with the book on it is called the Bookmark. The next time you log into the CD-ROM, the icon will appear before the last topic you were working in, before you exited the program. It works well, just like a bookmark. Well, now that we've explored the various features of the interface, let's take a closer look at using it with full motion video. Right now, we are running the training in half screen mode. If you wish to view the video on a full screen, simply press this button. To return to half screen mode, simply hit any key or click the mouse. The status button tells you whether the CD-ROM is playing or paused. The position button tracks exactly where you are in the program. And the length button tells you the running time of the particular segment you're watching. While working in half screen mode, you can work in the application you're studying at the same time. You do this with the practice button. It's located at the top of the screen and has a letter P on it. Press this button and you can follow along with the training. Or stop the CD-ROM at any time to try what you've just learned. Then you can continue watching the training at any time. There will be times when you're working and want to look up a specific term. This can easily be done with the search feature. The search feature works like an electronic index. And how do you search? With your binoculars, of course. 
When you click on the button with the binoculars, a search dialog box appears. You can scroll the list to find the item you want, or you can type in a word. Then you select the Go To button to get more information about your topic. As you can see, there are many fast and easy ways to use this training, but there may be times when you need a little help. Not a problem. Help is just a mouse click away. When you need the answer to a question, just look for the question mark. Clicking on this Help button will get you to InstaHelp, which is a fast way to get all the information you need on this interface. And when you're finished making the final laps of your training, finding the exit ramp is easy. To exit from this CD-ROM, just click on this button, the one with the picture of an open door on it. Well, that's it. You're now ready to hop into the driver's seat and take this training for a spin. In no time, you'll be on the fast track to using your software more efficiently than ever before. And if you run into any detours, you can always watch this tour again. Good luck.